Hello everyone, in this lesson we're going to look at steps to completely uninstall Microsoft Edge on Windows 11 and on Windows 10. Up until now, Microsoft made it almost impossible to remove the browser from the operating system. However, due to new regulations from the European Union, the company was forced to add a mechanism to uninstall the browser and other products, such as Bing Search on Windows 11. The only problem is that this is only limited to users in Europe. But there is a way that anyone can use to remove the browser from Windows 11 and even from Windows 10. If you plan to test these instructions, it is best to first try it on a virtual machine or a spare computer. Also, as always, it's recommended to create a full backup before proceeding. Okay, let's dive into steps to remove Edge from Windows. The first step is to confirm that you have the update that allows this method to work on your computer. On Windows 11, you're going to need at least Windows 11 build to 2531.2787. If you're still on version 22H2, you're going to need the build 22621.2787 or higher. On Windows 10, you're going to need build 19045.3757 or higher. The fastest way to check the build number on your computer that being on Windows 11 or Windows 10 is to open start and then look for the run command then type winbird and here you're going to see the build number on your computer now at the time of this recording you're also going to need the bike tool to enable one of the features on the operating system that allows you to remove Microsoft Edge from the operating system and to do that you need to go to this github page and then we're going to scroll down and then we're going to download the latest for this and we're going to save that to the computer now we're going to open the folder containing the bike tool we're going to select the file and we're going to click the extract button then confirm where you want to extract the files and click the extract button i already have the files extracted on the c drive so i'm just going to click cancel you also want to close Microsoft Edge at this time. Now we're going to use the byte tool using command prompt. And to do that, we can open command prompt or the Windows terminal. Open start. In my case, I'm going to look for the terminal. I'm going to right click on it and select the run as administrator option. Now I'm going to open the folder containing the byte tool. In this case, I know that I have it on the C drive. And in here, I'm going to use this ID code and I'm going to enable the feature. Now we need to restart the computer. Now we're going to open File Explorer. So I'm going to open Start and look for Explore. And in here we're going to move to the System32 folder and that's located on C. Windows System32. Now we're going to look for the JSON folder called Integrated Services Region Policy Set. And this is a file that we're looking for. So we're going to right click on it and we're going to enter the properties. Then we're going to go to the security tab and click the advanced button. We are going to change the ownership. So we're going to click change. And in here we're going to look for administrators and click the check names button click ok click apply click ok on the security tab click the edit button now we're going to select administrators and we're going to choose the full control for the allow option then click apply yes ok at this point we can make a copy of the file just in case that we need to restore the settings and then i'm just going to right click on it select copy then go to a different location and right click on it and select the paste option i already have it backed up the file right here so i don't need to use the paste option right now now we need to open notepad as an administrator open start look for notepad and select the run as an administrator option click on file and then click on open now we need to go to the system32 folder and that's on c windows 
system 32 and then look for the integrated services region policy set file or you can just paste it and that will we we'll select the file and then click open then you need to find this block of code which is going to read edge is unavailable in here we're going to set the default state to enable and then we also have to specify the region for your computer and to do that we're going to need to open start and look for the registry and then we're going to go to this path which is hkuser.default control panel international geo in here we can see that the string is set to us so in here we're going to open quotes comma space and inside we're going to specify us of course here you have to use the region that appears on your system now just click on file and then save it and now we need to restart the computer and that would allow us to see the option to uninstall microsoft edge from the computer now we can open the settings app to uninstall microsoft edge from windows 11 and to do that open start look for settings and then open the app then go to apps uninstall apps and i'm going to look for edge and this is the built-in instance of the browser on windows 11 then open the menu click uninstall click on install again click yes and now we're going to get the option to also clear the browsing data for this video i'm going to click the option and i'm going to click the uninstall button and you're going to see that the browser icon has been removed from the taskbar indicating that the browser is no longer on the computer now if you're doing this on windows 10 the path to uninstall the application will be on apps apps and features and then look for edge and make sure to click the uninstall button i haven't done the process on this installation so the option is not available i just wanted to show you the steps how to get to the place to uninstall the browser once you went through all the steps and that is all there is to it that's how you completely remove microsoft edge from windows 11 and on windows 10. one thing i noticed using this method one thing I noticed is that in some instances, even though the browser is not installed on the computer, the system will still not be able to use the default browser to open certain links. For example, when you are in the widgets board and you click one of the articles, you will get this message to choose the browser to open that link. However, as you can see, I don't get an option to choose Firefox or Chrome or any other browser that I have on the system, even though even though one of those browsers are set as default on the on the computer. So it's not totally perfect. But if you wanted to get rid of Microsoft Edge, this is the way that you can use right now. Now, in the case that uh, you change your mind and you want to have the browser back, you can always open the Windows terminal or command prompt. And I'm just going to use a terminal. I'm going to right click on it and select run as administrator option and then you can use the winget command to install the application and you will need to use this identification number which is the id for microsoft edge and then just press enter and that will install the browser back i'm going to click yes and now the browser is going to download and install on the computer again since you edited the policy JSON file, you will continue to have the option to uninstall the browser once again from the settings app. And as you can see, the browser is back into the computer. Now we can reopen the settings app and on apps, install apps, we can see the edges install on the computer and the option to uninstall, it will remain on the computer. And that's it. That's how you remove Edge from Windows 11 or Windows 10. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.